Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Several years ago, I was hired by On One Software to do a video demonstrating how to use layers in On One Photo Raw. In that video, I took a stack of Oreo cookies and I replaced the middle section of a zebra with the Oreo cookies. Uh, in that video, it demonstrated how to use layers in On One and how to use a lot of the tools in On One. Now, because I was contracted by On One to do that, I really can't do a video on YouTube demonstrating how to do it in On One, but I can do a video on YouTube demonstrating how to do it in Photoshop. That's what we're going to be doing today. You see, I have this image of the zebra, and over here on the other tab, I have this image of Oreo cookies. So what we're going to do is we're going to clip these Oreo cookies out of this image, and then we're going to put them on top of the zebra so they're covering up the middle section of the zebra. Then we'll get it to fit so it actually looks like the zebra has a middle section of Oreo cookies. All right, let's get started. We're on the cookies. What we need to do here is first get a selection of cookies. We're going to use the object selection tool. The keyboard shortcut is the W key, but the W key is a keyboard shortcut that is shared by three tools, the object selection tool, quick selection tool, and magic wand tool. So go over to the tool well, long press with the left mouse button and make sure you're using the object selection tool. Now, if you hover, it probably, yeah, just finding pieces of cookies. We need to select all of these. So what we'll do is we'll be in um, this object finder mode and we're going to just be in a rectangle, draw a rectangle, and then we'll just draw this rectangle right over the cookies. And you'll see we have a selection. You can see the marching ants, but we need to refine it. I'm sure there is a selection isn't perfect. So we're going to go to select and mask. And I'm using a black background for the view. I would say use that or the red. That would be the overlay background. One of those two. Let's stay with the black. You can see that there's a lot of haloing or there's just the white background coming through on the edges of the cookies. So what I'll do is I'm going to go to shift edge first of all and I'm going to just shift this in. So we're getting rid of some of that. Then what I'll do is I'll go to radius and I'll kick that out just a little bit. And that actually looks well, that did look good till I let go. So we'll just keep tweaking that out. Yeah, that looks decent. We still have some rough edges in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the second tool from the top. This is the Refine Edge Brush tool. The keyboard shortcut is the R key. We're going to be in plus mode. It doesn't really actually matter what mode you're in. Tell you tweak plus or minus. Uh, even though we're kind of minusing away, what we're going to do is these edges here, we'll just kind of paint on these edges. And you could resize the brush with the bracket keys. The left bracket key will make it smaller, left right bracket key larger. I'll just come in here very quickly and try to do just a little better selection on this edge. See how it's getting rid of some of that white edges that are in between the two wafers of the cookie. And we're almost done. Down in here. Down in there, down in there, down in there. Take your time here. The better job you do the do with this step, the easier it will be to blend in the cookies with the abdomen of the of the giraffe. And let's just do another little pass. I missed a little bit there, missed a little bit there. Missed a lot of it here. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, now I want to output it to, I'm going to output it to a new layer, just like that, nothing special, all right? So we're gonna click okay. So now we have the clipped out cookies. So what we need to do now is move these over to that other tab, we'll get the move tool, the keyboard shortcuts, the V key for the move tools right here. Now some computers this won't work, um, just going to click on it, drag it up here, and then drag it onto the other image. Sometimes that drag up to the other tab doesn't work on some PCs for some reason. If that's the case, when you're on the cookies, just hit Control A to select everything, Control C to put it to the clipboard, and then go to your next tab with the uh, the giraffe, <laughs> the zebra, and hit Control V as in victory, and then you'll paste it. It's just cut and paste. All right, so we have it here, but you can see it's too big and it's oriented the wrong way. So we need to reposition this. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into free transform, free transform mode by hitting Command T on my Mac, Control T on a PC. I really can't see all the handles, so I'm going to hit Command minus a couple times on my computer, Control minus on a PC. And so, first of all, I'm going to rotate it so it's oriented in the correct position. Then we'll bring it in here. Now I can see, so I'm going to go to Command zero on my Mac to fit to screen, control zero on the PC. So what I want to do is I want to cover up as much of the middle part of the um, of the zebra as I can. We're not going to be using all of these cookies, right? So we're just going to cut some away. But this looks decent right here. We still have part of the zebra coming through up here and part of the zebra down here in the belly area. And we're not going to use these cookies in the back or these cookies in the front. So I think this is good right now. We'll click the little check mark up here. Now what we need to do is get rid of these cookies in front and these cookies in the back that we're not going to use. So we're going to add a layer mask. Go down here in the lower right hand corner and click this little icon right here. So we added a layer mask. Now when you want to uh, remove something from that layer, because it's a white layer mask, you're going to paint in black. So get a brush, hit the B key for the brush. Make sure that the black swatch is the front swatch. And look at a, oops, I hit the right bracket key to make it larger, left bracket key smaller. And you'll see now when I paint, I'm getting rid of that cookie there, right? So what we want to do, probably want to have a hard brush. So make sure hardness is at 100%. We'll get a smaller brush. And I think we'll go right around in here, get rid of this cookie, and then carefully in here. And kind of get a smaller brush now as we get it more refined. Just do the best you can. Pretty good. Now I'm going to come right there. Now I'm going to get a real small brush, kind of paint out these areas in here. All right. It's going to take me a second. I'm sorry. I know this is not, not very exciting, but I just want it to look halfway decent. So we'll get rid of these, this area in here, so that the zebra, the little wafer kind of looks right. There we go. All right. That one. Now we got to do the ones in the back. Um, I'm not sure. I think probably we'll cut it off right here. So we'll get a larger brush. Again, hit the right bracket key, get rid of this. All right, get a smaller brush. Okay. There we go. Okay, that kind of looks decent. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go back a little more. I'm going to undo that, and we're going to actually just leave it at... We're going to take two off in the back. That'll look better. So there. There we go. All right. There we go. We're getting there. All right. So now we have our cookies. I'm not going to go through every little thing on this one, but just you get the idea. But we still have part of the zebra coming through behind the cookies. So what we're going to do is turn off that cookie layer for a second and turn it on and we can see it's the belly's coming through right here and a little bit up in the shoulder area coming through. So we don't want any of the zebra to come through. So what we're going to do is turn off that cookie layer, go on the zebra, click on that. Then we're going to get the clone stamp tool. The keyboard shortcut is the S key for the clone stamp tool. It's right here in the tool well. I want something that's maybe medium hardness, somewhere in the middle. And then what we'll do is you need to sample an area and we'll sample directly below the belly here. And let's just double check where it's coming through. It's coming through right in here to start. So we'll sample right below that by holding in the alter option key, click once with the left mouse button, then come in and don't worry about what this looks like because it's not going to be seen really.
You see, now we turn the cookies back on. You see, none of that's really being seen. So, so far, so good. Now we got to get this part up at the top. We'll hit, hold in that Alt Option key again and sample like right here, maybe. Then come in and take this away. And then put the cookies back on. Yeah, there we go. Now we'll hit minus so we could see it a little better. That actually looks decent. You can see how now the middle of the zebra has cookies. Now, what we need to do is kind of make sure that it uh, has the same kind of coloration. Obviously, the zebra is probably on the savanna. It's very warm. You can see the tones are warm. The cookies are more neutral. So I want to try to match the coloring. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this background layer by hitting Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. Then on this layer that's now called Background Copy 2, we're going to go up to Filter, Blur, and we're going to go down to Average, right at the top, Average Blur. When you do that, you'll see what it did. Then what we'll do, and you see I missed a part of the cookie there. See that? So we'll go back on our cookie and get rid of that. Uh, go make sure we're on the mask and make sure we're painting with a black brush and we'll get rid of that that I missed and that that I missed. Okay. So you can clean it up a little bit. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to take this layer that we just did the blur on, the average blur on, and put it on top. So it's covering everything up. But we want it to only affect the cookies. So what we need to do is we need to clip it to that layer so it only affects that layer and to do that is the easiest way i know of is just hold the alter option key and go right between the two layers and you can see how the cursor turns into this little icon when you do that just click once with the left mouse button now you can see it's only affecting the cookies and you can see that i missed part of the zebra in here as well so it kind of is a good way to make sure we're um we're not missing anything but anyway now we have it there. Now we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. Now you can see it's more colored in the same kind of light that the savanna was in, but probably a bit too strong. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the opacity here. We're just going to pull that opacity down. Maybe to maybe, I don't know, 32%, something like that. That looks pretty good. Now I need to go back to my mask because I missed part of the zebra up in here. We'll turn off the cookies for a moment. We're going to go actually to the zebra itself, and we're going to again get that clone stamp tool. The S key is the keyboard shortcut. And we're going to, um, going to sample right above this area with the Alt Option key. Click once with the left mouse, and then come in and just get rid of this area in here. Let's see what that looks like. There, that looks pretty good. Turn on. Everything looks nice. So there is our zebra that now has cookies as its abdomen. Hopefully that just taught you some things about layers, about how to clip one layer to the layer directly below it, and some tools that you could use in Photoshop. Thank you. Everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.